Where are we? Everything looks so different all of a sudden. Hey there, YouTube. It is I, True Stealth, back at it with another episode as we continue on to our journey of the Blaze Blue Cross Hack Battle, episode Persona 4 Arena. So, last episode, we met up with Chie and got a nice little interaction between her and Makoto, both of them being very into kung fu action. After all, for if, if it was up to them, everybody would be kung fu fighting, but it's not, so. Uh, anyway, besides that, we just saw a bit of... We just had a nice little fight, and there wasn't really much else besides that. However... Now we're going on into chapter three, and we now have Yosuke, Chie, and you all together. Oh, so we're only missing Yuko. Except something tells me it's not going to be that simple. Yes, it's common tropes. Yeah, this place is new. Hmm? Look over there! Do you see someone? Huh? Where? Hmm. Wow, it's moving! Hey, it's Yukiko! Hey, Yukiko! Oh, you're right! Amagi! Are you okay? Chie, I'm so glad you're safe! Wait, Hanamura-kun and Narukami-kun? I'm guessing we're about to fight each other, but... Oh, oh Yukiko, I was so worried! What? Another pair of ears? Is that a rabbit? <sighs> yes. That was the princess's ribbon! And you would do well to refer to her with more respect! <gasps> Did you see that? That weird plushie can talk and move! How incredible! Plushy? Are we really that unusual a sight? That umbrella's talking too! Anything <laughs> goes, I guess. How rude, calling me a mere umbrella. Though now that I get a better look at you, I find it hard to stay mad. You're just my type. <sighs> Whoa! This umbrella kinda reminds me of Kanji. It's a Kanji umbrella! A Kanji umbrella? Oh. <laughs> uh oh, this isn't good. <laughs> oh. Oh, adorable. Face. <laughs> oh, oh no, she's having a total laughing fit. Guess you haven't changed much, Moggy. Are you quite done laughing at me? The nerve, poking fun at someone you haven't even met. Whoa, she looks really pissed off. Hey, Amagi, ixnay on the effing lay. That is some horrible lad. But I'm really curious as to where this lies. So assuming that we go by the timeline of the Blaze Blue continuum, well, assuming that they're all the same one. Well, this is definitely after first chapter, and this makes sense because Rachel is here, and she was with Ragnar first chapter. However, what doesn't make sense is the fact that Chie met back up people, but we didn't see Chie until chapter three. We already saw Gordu like before that. Which means that we can probably assume that the chapter 2 Persona 4 Arena happens sometime after the chapter 3 of Blaze Blue. Which is interesting to think about. And we did think about it. So, let's continue and see exactly how we're going to get roped up by here. Laughter or no, would you mind listening to what I have to say? You do have a keystone, do you not? <gasps> no way! Don't tell me this girl's after it, too! Did someone drag her here? She's way too young to be here on her own! <laughs> the 
young. I see. So you have that color. Yeah. Hmm. Saw my blade coming, did you? Hakuma! What? Hey, are you okay, Narukami? No harm done. Yet. Where did he... What the hell? A mask? Oh, hello, Mr. Hero. You seem more aggressive than usual today. The situation is dire, and time is of the essence. I will do whatever it takes to obtain that stone. <laughs> Just hold on. We don't want to fight you. Well, there's a simple solution to that, isn't there? Simply give up your keystone and we'll be on our way. That's okay. not gonna happen. We need to get out of here, too. Our families and friends are waiting for us in our world. Yeah, how long has it been since we got here? If we don't get back soon, we'll be in big trouble. Right, we had a large family of walk-ins at the hotel today. I was supposed to help out. Oh crap, I have work today. If I'm not there, Teddy's gonna go nuts. Oh God, Dad's gonna kill me. So tell us, what is the Keystone? And where are we? Do you know anything? Yes, more than you do at least. Why are you after this stone then? You can use it to get out of here once you reach the goal, right? Uh, not that simple. I see. So that's how she explained it to you. She? You mean that weird voice we keep hearing? In order to escape this phantom field, one must collect all of the key items. So desperately clinging to that one stone alone is pointless. So that's why everyone we met was trying to take it. And by Phantom Field, do you mean this world we're in? Correct. While I imagine a more thorough explanation will be lost on you, I will attempt to convey the basics. This is a space created by the Overseer to achieve a single purpose. Okay, a space right. that uses Seether to read through the observation subject's memories and project them into being. Was that a simple enough explanation? Wait... Uh, um... Uh... So this isn't the world inside the TV we're familiar with. Words inside the... What utter nonsense! Could you try to use words that humans can comprehend? <laughs> You're one to talk! Nothing but wasted words. Further talk is unnecessary, Harlequin. So it seems. While I would have preferred to avoid violence, it seems to be our most expedient option. <sighs> Not good! Here they come, Narukami! Bring it! Cold shock is nice. <sighs> or not. You okay? Still waiting on the entrance, guys! This battle's not gonna start on its own. Don't waste your youth twiddling your thumbs as life passes you by. Uh, What's your deal? Just act like a normal announcer or something. That's right. The battle can't start until they form a tag team. Oh, so if they don't choose anyone, then we don't have to fight! Good thing, too! I don't see that little girl jumping into the fray anytime soon. What an annoying system. Fine. I, Rachel Alucard, shall enter the battle. <laughs> I, Hakuman, offer my That's blade. Literal idiot. See, was that so hard? You're all registered now. Your turn, Team Yellow. Damn it, come on! Okay, Narukami, I guess we're... Young lady, what is your name? Me? <laughs> um, it's Yukiko Amagi. Register Yukiko Amagi as an entrant for Team Yellow. What the... This is cheating. She knows who the worst character in all of Blaze Blue is. She's abusing it. Roger that! Andre approved! Huh? Why me? For wasting my valuable time with mm. your rude laughter. Fine then. Register you, Narukami. Now you're getting it. It makes me so proud to see you kids learn and grow. 
This is anyway. It's just about time to transition to battle mode. So let's get this fight going. Yukiko, Amagi, are you ready? Um, we can use our personas, right? Then I'm sure we can do this. I'm counting on you guys. Remember, you just need to find us a chance to run. That's that's not how that works. But, yeah, this is a nice chapter because of the subversion of expectation expectation we normally expect from this going by the last chapter. So Get I'm ready! Curious as to exactly Get ready! How Hawkman doesn't realize Chie? when Hawkman and Carmine are both fighting them earlier, unless these actually are just completely separate timelines, which of course then raise even more questions. Can't escape from crossing fate. Yeah. Fight! Oh, oh. Well, I almost have perfect. Not yet. Okay. It's actually not. not. Such an easy fight. They didn't even have to abuse you can't or anything. No! Yeah, everyone, run! Oh, I really didn't think we were gonna make it. That mask dude was pretty strong, but that little Rachel girl was something else. Yeah. Hey, did you guys understand what she was talking about before the battle? The phantom fields and observation subjects and whatnot? That was all way over my head. But it seemed like she did know what was going on. So we might have been able to get more out of her if the fight hadn't broken out. Yeah, it also seems that... I mean, we already know that it's related to her family, these crystals. Uh, and But it's interesting since we got a lot more information already from this, from these like few chapters than we've gotten in the entire Blaze Blue run. And... That says a lot. Of course, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Maybe I play each one just independently. But at least seems like there is at least some basic correlation between all of them. And it's going to be nice to figure out exactly what that correlation is. <sighs> Narukami, you doing okay? I'm fine, but something she said is nagging at me. She said it's pointless to protect this one stone on its own. Right. She did say that, didn't she? But as long as we have our keystone, we can get out of here. Right, Narakami-kun? That's what the voice told us. But if we're to believe that girl, there's something we need to do with the keystone to get out of here. Yep, yep. We need to summon. Yeah, it seems like there's gotta be a way to use it. She did say it's not enough to just hold on to this thing. Should we try asking her again? Nah, I don't <laughs> think so. I have a feeling she'd just ignore our questions and start attacking us again. So, why are we even doing this? There's so much we don't know! The one thing we can be sure of is that we can't let the Keystone out of our hands. Right about that. Right? We don't even know how to use it, but if it gets taken away, we're stuck here forever and get punished for it? That's just not fair. Ugh. That's not very personal at all. Hey, do you think we're the only ones who got called here? What about Teddy-san, Kanji-kun, Rizei-chan, and Naoto-kun? Uh, one of them. 
Yeah. Two of them if the four of us are here, it only makes sense that the others would be here too. Um, I think Rise Chan had work today, so she wasn't at school. Oh yeah? Teddy should be working at Juness right now. Should be. Every day is great. But I guess this place doesn't really care about where you are when it pulls you in. Yeah. Narukami-kun's not even in Inaba anymore, and he's here too. Sheesh. If Teddy or Rise were here, we'd have this whole situation figured out in a snap. No sense in complaining about it. For now, we just have to keep moving forward. Let's keep an eye out for anyone else who might be here too. Teddy and Rise wouldn't be able to eat her, unfortunately. But Teddy is here now. <laughs> so fluffy. All right. That was the end of chapter three of this episode. And like I said earlier on, we got so much information about what's actually happening. And that's crazy. For multiple reasons. One, because the Blaze Blue storyline didn't give us all that much outside of like a few bits and pieces along the way. But, and here, we're seeing so much information right after each other. Furthermore, this right here seems really interesting because if I'm correct, next episode, or next chapter, we should be able to fight without you, which is something that we never saw in the first episode. Because we always follow Ragna. And, and that's certainly going to be interesting. However, once again, that's for the next episode. So, thank you all for watching. And look forward to more. Goodbye.